This is the 2024 Ford Territory Titanium, another Chinese entrant to the market. Yes, it has a Ford badge on it, but this is about as Chinese as Jackie Chan gets. At present, Ford only has two SUVs in the market, the Puma and the Ford Everest. The entry of the Territory is sort of like an answer to the affordable mid-size SUV segment, which most consumers seem to be interested in. In this video, we are going to put the Territory through its paces, look at its interior, exterior, take it out for a drive and of course launch it, because this is some Zansi popular rides. The Ford Territory is back and offers a five-seater family SUV positioned between the Puma and Everest in Ford's lineup. I say it's back because it was first launched in 2004. Well, that's if you were born at that time. The Ford Territory competes with other mid-sized SUVs like the Toyota RAV4, Honda CR-V, Hyundai Tucson, and the likes of the Haval H6 and Tiggo 7 or 8 Pro. When it comes to looks, well, I think we will all have divided opinions about it. But as for me, I think it looks good and content in its skin. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. Up front, the front end features a bold grille with a chrome surround, LED headlights with integrated daytime running lights, and a large lower air intake. The side profile is slick and somewhat dynamic. You have 19-inch alloy wheels and a rising belt line. Lower trim levels get 18-inch alloy wheels. The titanium features a chrome surround around the windows and features aluminum roof rails and integrated turn signals in the mirrors. The rear end features LED tail lights and dynamic turn signals. You have a roof spoiler and the rear bumper features a lower diffuser which is more for show rather than go. The lower bumper has some silver trim accents on the sides. The boot is electronic and once it's open, you will gain access to 448 liters of boot capacity with the seats up and 1422 liters with the seats folded. With spikes on the rise these days on the road, you also get a biscuit spare tire folks, which means one emergency down. The 2024 Ford Territory range is powered by a 1.8 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine that makes 138 kilowatts of power and 318 newton meters of torque. The engine is mated to a seven-speed dual clutch transmission that sends power to the front wheels. The model range includes the Ambient, Trend, and the model to go for is the Titanium, as that comes with all the bells and whistles. Let's launch it and see what this engine is all about. Look, at present, there is no real estimate of the 0 to 100 km per hour time. I think it can do it between 8 to 10 seconds, which is adequate but not sporty. The engine is responsive and the DCT gearbox does a great job in selecting those gears seamlessly. On my test drive, I noticed a slight bit of turbo lag, but once the turbo spools up, there is good passing power. You have drive modes of Eco, Sport, Normal and Mountain. In terms of fuel economy, the territory is expected to get an estimated 7 liters per 100 kilometers on a combined highway and city driving cycle. This is a good fuel economy for a mid-size SUV. The fuel economy rating during its life as a demo was at plus minus 10 liters per 100 kilometers. And that's over plus minus 800 kilometers. But that includes a mix of thrashing the car and normal driving. The territory is a front wheel drive car and I would not call it an off-roader. However, should you have a little stretch of off-road driving, I think it will behave accordingly. But please keep things simple. When it comes to handling, it handles well for its size. It has a comfortable ride and takes corners confidently. The steering is responsive and precise. It's not a sporty drive, but it can handle those curves quite well. If you push it too hard, you'll start to feel a little bit of body roll. The Titanium has a quiet interior on the move with minimal road noise and wind noise, both at low speed and high speed. The cabin is well insulated from engine noise as well, but you will hear the engine going about its job of hauling you abreast. Because this is the Titanium version, you get features such as forward collision warning with pedestrian detection, 
lane keep assist, lane departure warning, lane change assist, traffic jam assistant, automatic emergency braking, and adaptive cruise control with stop and go. The Titanium is also equipped with rear parking sensors, a rear view camera, Ford's blind spot monitoring system, heel start assist, electronic stability control and traction control, as well as six airbags. So, from my point of view, it seems as if though the territory range is quite well specced. With that being said, let's take a look at the interior. Welcome to the interior of the Ford Territory Titanium. This interior is unlike any other Ford interior you have ever seen. I was rather impressed at how spacious the cabin is, but then it would be, given it's made for the Chinese market. It offers a stylish and comfortable environment for drivers and passengers alike. I must say that the ergonomics in here remind me of those of the H6. H6. Ford Territory. My favorite feature in this interior is this massive panoramic sunroof. This will make a great family car. One of the most striking features of the interior is the large dual screen setup. The base ambient trim level gets a 12.3 inch touchscreen infotainment system flanked by a 7 inch TFT instrument cluster. Higher trim levels like the Trend as well as the Titanium get a fully digital instrument cluster with a 12.3 inch display. The territory uses Ford's SYNC 4 infotainment system which features a large touchscreen display, voice recognition and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration. The digital instrument cluster can be customized to show a variety of information including speed, RPM, fuel level and trip information. Drivers can also choose from two different design themes for the digital cluster. The Territory Titanium comes with two-tone leather seats. Both driver and passenger seats are power adjustable. The rear seats offer plenty of legroom and headroom for adult passengers. I am 1.86 meters tall and with the front seat at the last position. Well then, there's your space. Whilst you make yourself comfortable in here, your drinks will be safely held in place by the carefully placed cup holders. You have ample amounts of storage areas. The steering wheel features shortcut buttons for audio, adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist. The Territory Titanium comes with a wireless charging pad for smartphones in the center console. There are also two USB ports in the front, a 12 volt socket and a USB port at the rear. The only thing I did not really like is that the front seat felt like it was restricted in terms of movement to create additional space. Maybe because I'm tall. However, to make up for that, you have a dual climate control system at the front and some ventilation at the rear. You also have anchor points and six airbags for your safety. And that simply means that your entire family is safe. The Titanium range also features ambient lighting. The Ford Territory Titanium will set you back 707,000 rands. Cost of ownership will therefore be 17,852 with an installment of 15,822, assuming an interest rate of 12% over a period of 72 months, fuel of 1,530, assuming you'll fill up the 60 liter tank at least once a month, and insurance of 2,500. At that price, the territory comes as standard with a warranty of four years or 120,000 kilometers. However, the service plan is optional. With that being said, it's now time for the Mio score. For the interior, I'll give this vehicle an 8 out of 10. For the exterior, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. For engine and performance, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. For safety and tech, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Whilst driving the vehicle, I noticed that the lane keep assist happens to be all over the place when it's on. It might need a little bit of a software recalibration. I had it on its lowest intrusive settings on the day of filming, but be aware of it. As an overall score, I'll give the vehicle an 8 out of 10. The Ford Territory Titanium therefore gets a meal score of 39.5 out of 50. Thank you very much for watching and for getting to the end of the video. If you haven't yet done so, please be kind to like and to subscribe to the channel for more dope content like this. Come on now. Let's support local YouTube. 
a massive huge shout out to Ford Woodmeat for allowing us to review this vehicle. If you're in the market for any Ford models, be sure to visit them. Well then, until next time. <laughs>